So I'm pleased to welcome our speaker today. Renfei Zhu is a technical director of MBSC for PGM. He has participated in many implementation projects of MBSC in domains like uh, engine control, agonics, mechatronics, uh, radar, and so on. And in recent years, he is dedicated to the promotion of Capella and Arcadia in, in China. So glad you're with us today, Renfei. And the virtual floor is yours. Hello, everyone. I am Renfei from Shanghai PGM Technology. And the topic I am sharing today is simulation with Python and MATLAB in Capella with DSS add-on, which is a product of our company. So first of all, I would like to introduce our company briefly. So PGM is short for Pugo Mountain, which is a mountain full of treasure recorded in Shanghai Jing, uh, which is a very old book uh, in China about 2,500 years ago. So um, we can uh, watch it from the picture. The, this mountain is made of gold. So um, we take it as the name of our com company to, uh, to means to to mean something good. And now we are a leading provider of MBSC solution and consulting service in China. And our, our service, including the business consulting, the IT implementation, IT support, and, and IT support of MBSC and requirement engineering and uh, AOM, uh, which means the, the all life cycle management of software. And uh, in, addi in addition, we can um, participate in the co-design of, of any complex systems as an MBSC expert. Uh, for example, to review the MBSC models of these complex systems and to uh, develop even develop some models for, for the product. And our solutions are mainly based on Capella, Team Center, and Polarion. And the team center and the Polarion is, and they are the products of Siemens. And these are our main customers. Uh, most of them are from China. And I will introduce briefly. So the first one is Comac, uh, which is a main provider of civil aeroplane and from China. And the CASC, CASC is a um, it is from the aerospace industry and the CETC is from the electronic industry. Um, Merck, Merck Group is from, uh, is from the health industry, uh, which is the only main customer um, out of China. And uh, AVIC, AVIC, it's a um, main provider of military uh, air, aircraft aircraft from China and uh, CICV it is a provider of intelligent connected vehicle solutions uh, from China and the uh, KSEC it's the biggest prov provider of logistics systems uh, in China and Fortum it is a provider of commercial vehicles and this one is Xiaomi. Xiaomi is a um, is a main provider of cell phone. And uh, two years ago, it it decides it, it decided to um, enter the domain of uh, new energy vehicle. So and the cooperation between PGM and uh, Xiaomi is mainly for the vehicle design. And the last one, AECC, is a provider of commercial aircraft engine. So these are our main customers. And I will briefly introduce some of the solutions that, are, that, that we are providing for them. So the first one is the, the solution of MBSC in Comac. It's mainly for the collaborative design of Onyx systems. So the the designing procedure is mm, firstly we will modeling 
the overall requirements model um, to uh, using the Capella operational analysis, system analysis, and the logical architecture design. Then we will distribute the logical archite architecture design into several ATA system models distribute to into their system analysis models. Then we will model different ATA system models to do in the to do the logical archi architecture design. Then we will integrate all the logical architecture design of these ATA system models into the over overall integration model to get a whole ar logical architecture of the of the avionics system. And we will get back to the ATA system models to um, designing the physical architecture, then integrate them into the overall integration model to get a whole picture of the physical architecture design. So that's the main process, process the main procedure of the collaborative design in COMAC. And another example that I want to show here is the the solution in Xiaomi vehicle. So we will have, we, we will got a subcomponent architect to maintain a subcomponent library, which will be referenced by different function owners to develop their function design and the function realization models. So the function design and the function realization models is used to, um, to, to show how the function of the vehicle is realized by different subcomponents. Then we will integrate all these functional design and the realization models into the subcomponent requirements models. So we will know um, how, uh, how, how many functions that we, we, are, we, we, we should do in different subcomponents. And then we will distribute it into several several different subcomponent models for each subcomponent owner. Then these subcomponent owner can design their SC model and the reference to an ECU library to allocate these functions into different ECUs. Then we will then at last uh, uh, we will integrate all these SC models into an whole ECU architecture model to get a whole picture of the physical architecture of the of the vehicle. So this uh, this is the main procedure of our MPSC solutions in, in Xiaomi vehicle. The focus of our topic today is about the DSS add-on, uh, which is short for uh, dynamic execution and system simulation. So I will introduce the background and the motivation first. We know that we, we, we have different models, different diagrams in Capella, include, including the functional data flow diagram, the state machine, the scenarios, the functional chains. And we know that the models in Capella are static. So um, there is some case, some cases that these diagrams are not consistent so we need some we need some method to verify that the model we build in capella they are consistent and correct so that's the main motivation that's why we developed the add-on desk and and to be honest another main reason is that mm, most of our customers uh, many of our customers they will ask that, uh, you know, in, in, in other MBSC modeling tools, they can do animation, they can do some simple, simple simulation. And so what, what about Capella? So that, that's why we will, we decide to develop this, this add-on to add this feature. So we decide to make an extension to make the state machine and the functional data flow e executable. And we can use a control panel to interact with the, the executing model. And we can automatically um, generate some scenarios to record the execution process. 
So if we uh, compare the scenarios that is auto automatically generated from the execution with with the manually built scenarios, if we compare them, we can make sure that if the the, the model we build is is correct or consistent. And in some second circumstance, we can embed some MATLAB and uh, MATLAB or Python codes in the functions to make the execution into a system simulation so, so that we can judge the outcome of different functions that will make the execution into a simulation. So the main, main features of our death add-on including uh, includes the execution and the, and the animation of state machines, the execution of functional data flow. Oh, it, it, there is some mistake here, the functional data flow. And the third one is the auto-generation of scenarios. The next one is the system simulation with MATLAB or Python code embedded in functions. And then we can export different state machines into SCXML files. Then I would like to introduce the execution and the simulation rules in our desk add-on. So in order to make the state machine executable, we have made some extension of the model elements in, in Capella, including the mode, the state, and the transitions. So for example, in the mode, we have add we have added three features, three attributes, including the entry gen, activity gen, and exit gen. They are used to generate they are used to generate functional exchanges from one component to another component so that different state machines can interact with each other. And for the transitions, for the state transitions, we have added a uh, effect gen so that when we are doing a transition from um, the pre state to the post state we can we can also generate some functional exchange to send to, to be sent to another component and for the system machine we can execute it based on the millimole rules which which means when the when the current state is mode 1 when, when the current state is the pre-state, we will execute the do function of the pre-state first. Then we will generate a functional exchange in the in the in the in the do uh, in the activity gen in the do gen of the pre-state. So the functional exchange will be treated as a trigger in the state machine. Then it will it will be waiting for the triggers on the on the transitions. So if a trigger arrive, then we will judge if the guard of the transition is satisfied. So if it is if it is satisfied, we will make the transition. And when making the transition, we will execute the exit function of the pre-state first, then we will generate the ex exit gen trigger of the pre-state, then we will execute the effect function of the transi transition, then generate the effect gen of the uh, transition, then we will enter the post-state. And by entering, entering the, entering the post-state, we will execute the entry function first, then we will generate the entry gen trigger. Then if we have any do function, any do gen, we will doing them, we will execute them one by one and waiting for the next trigger to come. And in, in, in addition, we can support the time trigger in the in the functional in, in, in the state machine. So that's the basic executing rule of the state machine in death adder. And during the execution, if we want to um, see the, the animation 
then uh, we can uh, in, in in the death add-on we will highlight the current state of the state machine by red color and we will highlight the post state by uh, gray color then the transition from the post state to the to the uh, the transition from the pre-state to the post-state will be highlighted by yellow. So that's the animation outcome. And and the execution pr process will be recorded as a scenario automatically. And the second part of the execution rule is the functional data flow rule. So if, if we do not have an state machine for a component, we will execute the component based on the functional data flow rule, which is based on PatchNet. So that means we we have we have added an initial node for for the Capella model and the function that is connected that is connected to the initial node will be executed first. Then one token will be generated on each output port of the function and the token will trans will transfer from the will travel along the functional exchange in no time and it will come to the input port of of the next function so for other functions it will be executed if if all the input port has at least one token so in this case the function five have enough have has enough token to be executed but the function four has only one token and it needs another token to be executed so the function five will execute first then it will generate another token on output port which will be which will travels to the input port then the function four can be executed. So that's the basic execution rule of the functional data flow. Then in a certain model, we, 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 we may get several different components and some with state machine, uh, while some without state machine. So in this add-on, we can make a hybrid execution of state machine and the functional data flow. So the rule is, if a component has a state machine, it will be executed based on the state machine rule. And if the component does not have a state machine, it will be executed based on the functional data flow rule. And the token in the functional data flow will be treated as a trigger in the state machine. And the trigger in the state machine will be treated at, as a as a token in functional data flow. So in that way, the whole model can be executed. And during the execution, we can use a control panel to interact with the model, with the state machine and the functional data flow. So we can select which component to communicate with, and we can select a token or trigger to send. Even we can set some value of the uh, to the to the to the uh, functional exchange, and we can send it to the to the certain uh, component. And in some cases, only the execution of the model is not enough. We want to evaluate the outcome of different functions to make a system simulation. So in in that case, we can embed some simulation code in different functions. So um, with our death add-on, we can use the right-click menu to select the select the edit code, and we can um, we can invoke the MATLAB or Python editor to edit the embedded code. So we have make some integration with with MATLAB and the Python, and the so this is the editor of MATLAB. And this is the editor of Python. So the first time, the first time that you want to edit code, you you need to choose you you are you are you are editing MATLAB code or Python code. 
and the from the second time on the system will um will remember which which kind of code that you are editing so it won't ask you again it will invoke the right editor of the embedded code and we can see both in matlab and python the first several lines of the function is uh, generated automatically from the model for example the the function the input the output and the and the, the first two lines of the function of the matlab function they are generated based on the model based on the input port the output port of the function and the same for 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 python codes so it has the same input and output of the function which is based on the capella function model and also we can reference to property value and the exchange item of the relative components and the functions so that means we can read the, read the the value from the model uh, into the into the codes and we can edit modify these value in the codes and to store them in in the model and we can also add some breakpoints in the codes to to debug these these simulation codes and another thing is if we have some existing simulation codes some existing matlab files or python files and we want to um, connect these simulation codes uh, to the functions so so in that case we can just create capella models capella functions based on the existing codes so that way is, it can can also work and to make the the simulation and execution um, more um, to to make the the simulation that we we want we may need to um, make some setting to set something in the in the preference so we have add some <clears throat> some dialog in the <clears throat> in the preference and we need to choose a language a language type to for for simulation and we need to choose if we want to to show in the uh, if we want to record to record the scenario in real time so these options they that means the first option means we will generate the scenarios diagrams in real time and you can watch the you can watch the scenario to 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 change and while the while the execution so that will be uh, nice to 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 watch but it will uh, consume some computer resource so if if we are doing some complex system simulation we can we can generate the scenario after the the simulation and uh, during the simulation we, we won't do anything of the generation that so that will save some computer s uh, resource and the third part is for the anima animation part of the uh, steam machine so the in the, in the same way if we want to see the animation during the execution we can click all these on and if if we want to save some computer resource for the for the system simulation to make it faster we can uncheck these uh, refresh and highlight option to to eliminate the the animation and for the time and trigger we can execute them automatically or manually because in some cases if the time trigger is very small for example five milliseconds it, it, it's too small for for the for the users for us to react so in that case we we may want to trigger the trigger tr trigger the time event manually and we can we can choose how to record the time event in the in the scenarios to show nothing or to show the exact value or to show smaller than the target value something like that so we have uh, some strong settings 
for our death add on. So you can you can do uh, do different kind of execution and simulation. And after the simulation, we can export the state machine as an X SC XML files. So we can export all the, the state machines, uh, or we can we can export the, the, the only only one state machine that we, we want to export. Okay. Then I want to show some examples. And the first one is a simple example using Python codes as the simulation code. So in this example, we have two components and an operator. The first component is a controller, which will pass the manual order and and control the controlling the the engine. And the engine has two simple uh, function, the, the start engine and the close engine functions. And we got uh, we got one state machine for each component. The fun the the state machine for the controller. Uh, it has two modes: the uh, standby modes and passing modes. So, when it gets a uh, when it gets a menu order, it will enter the passing mode and uh, invoke the function pass order to see if it it want to send a start signal to the engine or to stand or to send a close signal to the engine. So, in this case, we will use Python code to doing the pass order. And for the state machine, uh, for, and for the engine, we have a down mode and an up up mode. So it, it will be, it, it will it will transfer from down mode to up mode when it receive a start order, and when it receive a close order, it will uh, change from the up mode to down mode, and also we have an time event to trigger the close engine. So in in this way, these two state machine can communicate can communicate uh, with each other. And this is the embedded meta, uh, embedded Python code in the pass order uh, in, in order to to decide which menu order means close and which which uh, menu order means start. So we, we won't get into the detail of the code. So this is the um, this is the simulation outcome, and we have a video to show it. So we we can see with our death add-on, we can directly open the relative state machine by the right click menu. And also we can create a new state machine for different component uh, directly by the right click menu. So these features are also uh, by are also added by our add-on. And this is the state machine of the controller, and this is the state machine of the engine. And for the function, we have add some Python code in them. So the Python editor, it is merged. It is merged or integrated with the Capella, with the Capella app. Then we can simulate this model, and we can see the current state of the engine is down, and the current state of the Controller is is standby, and the scenarios are generated automatically. And in this case, we choose to generate the scenario at real time. So when we send some manual order, and the state machine will change from different change change between different modes, and different functions will be invoked. So in the scenario, we can see the manual order is sent. The pass order, the function pass order is invoked, and the, the controller decide to send a start order to the engine. And then, if we send another number with the menu order, the pass order will will translate it into a close order. 
So the translation work is done in the pass order function. So here we can, it is the close order. Then the engine will be closed. Then we can start the engine again. And we can, we can show how to use the time event. So in this case, the time event, the time trigger is 6,000 millimeters, which means six meter, six, six, six seconds. 6,000 seconds, milliseconds. So in this case, we can execute the time trigger manually. And the engine is closed. And in the scenario, we can mark that the six seconds time event happens. OK. When we stop the simulation, we can get the scenario remained. So we can see what has been done during the simulation. So this is the first example. And, and the second example, I want to show a, a more complicated more complicated MATLAB example. And so in this case, we will we will show how to uh, use our death add-on to simulate some more real, more real en engineering systems. And so this example is is mainly from the the material of this example is mainly from MATLAB. And actually in in our customers, for our customers, we are we will use the DAS add-on to simulate more complicated uh, systems with hundreds of functions, and all of them are embedded uh, with MATLAB codes. And this example is is just a, um, a simplified version of the the real system simulation. And in this example, we have uh, several subsystem subsystems, the antenna subsystems, the signal processing subsystems, the data processing subsystems, the radar managing subsystems, and the display subsystems. And all of the subsystems has different functions to cooperate together to make a, a radar to to detect target, to detect and uh, and track targets. So mm, these are the state machine of different components. This is the uh, state machine of the simulation configurator. And this is the state machine for the radar managing subsystems. So it will um, invoke different functions and generate different, generate different functional exchanges in, in each dwell. So, it will do all these things again when to get a dwell start signal. And this is the antenna, the, the state machine for the antenna subsystems. So we can see it has a transmitting mode and a receiving mode. So for each pulse, it will it will travel along, it will travel around from the transmitting mode to, transmitting mode to the receiving mode to to generate a pulse and uh, and in a dwell it will generate several several pulse and after all the pulse are generated it will uh, it will tra transit to the standby mode to wait for the the next dwell in initialization signal and these are part of the functions that we are embedding MATLAB code. For example, the get current job, the generate detection, the update track and job. So we have uh, some complicated simulation codes embedded. And this is 
the display um, dialog, the display picture generated by the display subsystem. It will show in the the beam, the searching and the tracking and the tracking beam. And these two uh, triangles, they are two targets. And these are the tracks, the tracks of the targets. So we can see a video to show more clearly. So this is in Capella and we have different uh, subsystems and functions. And we will invoke MATLAB to do the system simulation. So in this case, we want the system simulation to be more fast. So, so we shut down the animation of the state machine, state machine, and we, we don't want to generate the scenario model in real time. So we shut down all these features. We, we, we just want to do in the system simulation. And after the simulation, we can, we can regenerate the, the scenario um, based on the XML files generated during the simulation. So we will see that. So in, in this case, we will send a star signal to the simulation configurator to start the simulation. Then all the, the, all the state machines and functions will be invoked based on the state machine and the functional data flow rule. And the, the MATLAB will be invoked in, 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 in the same time. And the, the outcome of the of the display subsystem well, uh, it is showing here. So we have the searching beam and when it touches the target, it will get the target and uh, change into track and uh, search mode. So we will have the orange searching beam and the purple uh, tracking beam. Then we have a track of the target so we can faster the video and we can see the target is moving and the and the tracking is is changing so we can we can judge the the outcome of our design of our logical de arch architecture design of our functional architecture design and the, the the outcome of our algorithm design we can we can judge if they are correct or if they are satisfying the requirement. Okay. After the simulation, we can just uh, regenerate the scenario based on the XML files generated during the simulation. So we can insert execution information based on the on the XML files. And because we have a very long scenario, so we can choose how many nodes to generate, how many nodes to insert at a time. So we can insert the first 50 nodes to see what happened during the simulation. We can see we have, we, we, we send a start order we send a start node, and the simulation configurator send the initialization signal to different subsystems, and the different subsystems they they will interact with each other and collaborate to make the radar work. So that's the MATLAB example. Okay, and. The, to make a simple conclusion, and these are the takeaway of the of the uh, introduc introduction of the death add-on. And by using the execution, by using the execution and the system simulation of death add-on, the consistency between system architecture design and system simulation is guaranteed. So you know, in in traditional ways, we will design our system architect 
in in modeling tools or just by files and then we will do system simulation by simulation tools for example the matlab but these these two they are they are interconnected so in this way we can doing the system simulation based on the capella architecture uh, model so so this way can guarantee the consistency between system architecture design and system simulation and the second one is the granularity of system simulation code is refined to a function level, which is better to maintain and reuse. So if we we are if we are developing the simulation code for the whole system, it will be too big, too complicated to to maintain and reuse. But but by using the death add-on, we can embed the simulation code of different functions into the Capella model. So in this case, we can only focus on the uh, each functions, focused on each function, and that will make the simulation code more easily to uh, maintain and reuse. And the third one is, it gives engineers a chance to simulate the rough behavior of system in a very early stage with no detailed design. So we can we can evaluate our architecture design in a very early stage. With if if we we find some issues, we can fix them with very low cost. So that's the third value. Okay, and that's that's all of our of of, of my uh, introduction today. So if if you are interested. With the death add on, you can connect, uh, you can contact us with the, the email marketing at pgmse.com. Okay, thanks, Anfei, for your presentation and for enlightening us. Okay, so um, is this add on available for free to use? And so this is a commercial add on, and uh, we, can, we can provide some. Um, and trial trial license, but but if you want to, and um, uh, if if you want to use it in your in your work, you, you need to buy them buy it. Okay, thanks for for that. Okay, for functional data flow, uh, oh, do you introduce time delay between functions that both have one token? Uh, mm -hmm. Yet yeah, their parallelization is time dependent. Uh, let me think. So, how can you introduce time delay between functions that both have one token? Yes, their parallel execution is time dependent. So, in in our functional data flow uh, execution, uh, we if if two if two functions they are all ready to be executed, they are all they they all have got the enough token to be executed, we will uh, randomly select one of them to be executed. So, so the, the sequence may be different in, in different time of, of, sim of execution. So if, if you want to um, exactly to set the sequence of these functions and, 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 and in cases that they are time dependent, so we, we recommend you to uh, create a state machine for the component, so the state machine will be more more accurate. Accurate. Mm, only only simple simple logic can be simulated by functional data flow. So okay, that is, yeah. thanks, and Fei. Um, next one, oh, actually, it's two questions. Uh, can you have parallel processes in the state machine? Uh, I think the answer is pretty obvious, but I will let you answer that. Mm -hmm. And is uh, MATLAB simulation uh, uh, using MATLAB, or is it using directly Capella for processing codes? OK, the uh, first question. Yes, we, we can support parallel process in the state machine. We, we can support um, parallel regions. In, in in each state, 
that is okay, but 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 they are not shown in the example. And the second question is the MATLAB simulation. We are uh, actually we are using the MATLAB processing, so it's it's not using Capella to to simulate the code. We are using MATLAB, but but for for users, uh, they can only interact with the Capella, interact with Capella, and the Capella will will. Uh, to, to well communicate with MATLAB. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, uh, next one. Uh, how did you make as a new views and property uh, behind the state machine elements? Uh, did you make it using Kappa Studio or specific Kappa developments? And did you get help from OBO or not? Thanks. Okay, so um, we have ex extend the um, origin model elements. So um, we we have uh, we have the PGM mode, the PGM state, and PGM transition. Also PGM function in our in our add-on. So uh, if you have a legacy model, you have mode uh, you have uh, create your state machine. You have created your data, functional data flow using the origin um, modeling element. Then we 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 have we have a transition feature uh, in our add-on to to transit all the origin model elements into the PGM model elements. Then we can have the extra properties and views. Mm -hmm. So um, we are we are yes we are. Mm, Making it using Capella Studio, using using it to develop the the add-on, and we have got uh, we have got a lot a lot of help from Obio, so uh, we yes we need to thanks Obio for the technical support. Yeah, well, not so much. Well, you are quite quite good at this. <laughs> and quite independent too. Now it's a good news for people to hear that when you were able to develop, well, except for a few uh, few aspects, uh, all this all this tool by, basically by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not true. We we have strongly support you. You're too modest. Um, okay, next one. How do you manage uh, the virtual environment hosting the Python code? In this plugin, how to manage virtual environment of hosting the Python code? Mm. Actually, I'm I'm not sure I can understand this question. Um, for 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 I'm I'm not the developer of the add-on. So, I to to be honest, I, I I don't know, I don't know what what the question is is no. asking asking that, about. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you if you have an an idea later, we'll we'll forward the, the answer. Okay. Um, okay. And last questions, but we still have time. So if some of you have additional question. Uh, mm -hmm. Still time to to ask. So, what performance between Python and Capella simulation? Well, I I, I guess the, the the main idea is uh, okay. What to expect in terms of uh, of performances with uh, with such a kind of simulation? Yeah. So, and um, the the performance, the the timing performance um, of the simulation. Uh, using our desk add-on or using Python and MATLAB directory, mm, there, there, there will be some difference. So the performance using desk add-on will be a little um, worse than the, the using the, than the way using Python and the MATLAB directory. But the, but the, mm, but the, mm, how to say? The, the performance won't be much worse, so so it's it's just a, a worse a little, and the, it, it's it's worth worsening. We we think it's worsening because using that add-on, we can we can making the simulation architecture directly based on the K 
Capella architecture. But if we are using Python, Python or uh, MATLAB directory, we are developing the simulation architecture from from many from from zero. So we need to look at the Capella model and the developing our simulation architecture. So we think it will be it, it is it 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 will it worth the 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 the. The, the this the work to to using the add-on. Okay, thanks for that. Um, and we received a few few questions in the meantime. Uh, so, what are the minimum skills required to to use this add-on? Uh, Do you have a comprehensive menu allowing a new user to? Let's quickly the use of this add on. Mm. So, mm, the minimum skills required is the first one is uh, you need to understand the modeling of Capella. You, 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 you need to be able to build a Capella model. And uh, the second one is that you, you need to understand the execution rules of our DAS add-on, including the state machine ex execution rules and the functional data flow ex execution rules. And these execution rules, they are not invent, they are, they are not make out by our company. They are based on many more state machine and based on PetriNet rules. So um, it's not very hard to, to to understand, and uh, yes, we have a menu, uh, and we have training um, for you to learn the the, the use of the add-on. You 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 can I, I think you can uh, quickly handle the the, the use of the add-on. Okay, thanks. Uh, um, our next one is in thirty one. Uh, a model can contain. Uh, basically, error syntactical or for any other reason. Uh, is is there a mean to uh, uh, debug uh, your your model? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, there are, there are two kinds of errors. So the first one, the the first kind of errors will um, will be um, how to say so um, when when you. When you try to execute your model with our DAS add-on, uh, it may pump up some warning or pump up some error, showing that your model is is not correct. You, for example, you have some functional exchange with no target or functional exchange with no source, or you have some functions with no allocation, something something like that. So the simulation, the, the execution will not start. And so th these errors can be found out at the very beginning of the execution, uh, before the execution. And the second type of error uh, can be found during the execution or after the execution. For example, you, you want to invoke a, a function in some second circumstance and you find that during the execution, the function is not invoked, then you need to find out uh, why it is not invoked. Maybe you you, you have missed some uh, functional exchange, or you have make some, made some mistake in the state machine. So something like that. OK, thanks. And probably the last one, considering uh, the time. Yes. Is there a, a way to automate a set of simulations? Uh, Could I provide a series of inputs for five different simulations and have the tool execute simulations one after another automatically? So um, we, we, we do not have that feature in the current version of DES. And, but if you want this feature, and uh, you can provide some some finan financial support then we can yes we can do that okay thanks 
and uh, okay, so a very last one. And I'm sorry for those who <laughs> who have another question. Uh, uh, how would this uh, compare to the Thales camera singing bridge? Do you have any such discussion with Thales? And um, actually, actually, mm, we we are not discussing it with Thales, so there is no no such discussion. But but in my opinion. Um, in some cases, the death add-on uh, is is sim similar to the Capella Simulink bridge. They, they they can do the similar things in in some cases, but in in other cases, it will be more smoothly to 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 developing the simulation architecture and doing the system simulation uh, right in the Capella environment. And using if you are using the Capella and the Simulink bridge, you will switch the the developing environment from Capella to Simulink. So that's a difference. Uh, that that's a that that's a difference. So I think um, in some cases they are they are uh, almost the same, and in some cases, someone may prefer death the may prefer the way that deaths are doing, and and someone may prefer the the way that the bridge add-on are doing. So that, that's my opinion. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, okay, so I will unfortunately have to to close this event. Thanks, thanks, many thanks for for your talk and yeah. Faye. Um, yeah, it was okay. quite quite interesting. I'm sure you will have uh, contact and and we'll continue the the discussion with with a lot of attendees. Okay, so let me just conclude uh, with with uh, a few announcements. Um, well, we will have uh, a next webinar end of September, and we will uh, welcome Sebastian Dubé from Sabares Engineering, and he will address the application of MBSC as a support for system engineering standards. And uh, I'm also quite happy to announce that uh, the next capital day will be held mid-November. And you still have a few days to submit your contribution. If you, if you think you have something interesting to present to the Capella community, uh, you still have time to, to send us uh, your, your, your submission. And yes, to conclude, uh, I would also like to point out our next capella trainings on September, uh, or oh, sorry, so on October, November, and December. So if you're interested, there are still a few seats available, and you you can contact your uh, co colleagues in in Canada uh, at this address for for details. Yes. So, so thanks for having attending this uh, this webinar. Uh, it was a pleasure to share this uh, this moment with you. Have a good day and, and goodbye. Okay.